you know, he said there was a struggle, but there was much more to the struggle than we heard in this courtroom. So you can kind of take that, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you can see where if they were, would appeal, this is, you know, some of the stuff, some of the ways they might go to. Um, Taxstone was very adamant, very dramatic. He kept insisting I was attacked. He kept using that word attacked, right? Mm -hmm. I was attacked. I was jumped. I was protecting myself. Um, that was what he kept saying over and over. He said, Troyev is somebody who has the history of attacking people who don't like his work, don't like his music. Um, I am just someone who I'll joke all about everyone. I joked about Troyev. I, I didn't, you know, threaten Troyev. I didn't bully Troyev like they tried to say in the trial. I joke about everybody. Sure, I joked about Troy Ave, but I joke about lots of people all the time. And he actually said this, um, yeah, he said, uh, he said he was fighting for his life in that moment. And so he seemed legitimately shocked to still be in a courtroom at this point when, you know, what he was doing was fighting for his life. And he very pointedly said, Malcolm Kenyon convinced me to go to the club. So I think, again, you can see that if they appeal for this, Malcolm Kenyon is going to be central. Um, one thing Triab said, he was talking about how, excuse me, that Taxstone said, sorry. Um, he was talking about the way he was being portrayed by the prosecution as someone who was violent and who bullied people and all this kind of stuff. And he said, quote, they try to create me as the Joker when all I do is crack jokes. Um, which was a very notable thing. And at the end, he explicitly said, uh, and I tweeted this, some of you may have seen this, uh, half the stuff that was told on the stand by Troyav is a complete lie to protect himself from going to jail. Mm. And I see an interesting comment here from uh, as well. Do you think a more contrite final statement from tax would have resulted in a lesser sentence? That's a very good question. And we don't have, there's not a counterfactual, right? There's not like another world we can go to where it appears contrite. Um, I don't know. I, I don't see a world, honestly, in which, you know, given all of Tax's public statements before and after the trial, I, I don't know if he, I, I don't see a world in which that would have happened. Um, Maybe it would have if he had, you know, from the second he was convicted, you know, not posted on social media, um, written a statement, talked about how contrite he was, apologized to the family directly rather than saying, you know, I'm sorry, but I was attacked. I don't know. So sometimes that stuff can sway a judge, but it's it's impossible to tell. Um yeah. Rec Record says he was tweeting without remorse and the prosecutor used it. That is absolutely true. Uh, again, we don't know what was going on in the judge's mind, but certainly the lack of remorse didn't help. Uh, yeah. Someone mentioned Fed time in the, in the comments. The federal stuff is still ongoing. So yes, he still has to be sentenced for the Fed stuff. We'll see what happens with that. That is still ongoing. This was just for the state, the state case.